Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 26 of our Scum single player series. So, as of the last episode, we came back to the airfield, we did a little bit of, uh, a little bit of looting, we lost our pickup truck and we gained a new SUV, which was quite handy, if I say so myself. That was quite hectic of an episode, we lost our form of transport, um, we got a whole bunch of loot and it was looking kind of dire, I had a plan in place to go back to the little town just to my uh, west, there's an ATV there, instead we went into one of the, the garages, I think it was, what was the, it was over there, I think that garage over there, and we went into the first one and there was nothing there and the second one produced us an SUV, so today I was thinking about going up to the C1 bunker and also visiting the B1 factory. At the moment, the airfield is still off off limits for me because I, I, I'm still hurting, I'm still sore from losing my pickup truck. But what we can do today is instead of going to the airfield or staying at the airfield, we can head over to the factory. Now, I know a good way to get into the factory without the, the sentries actually like, discovering me. There's, it's less of a... It's less hectic for me, and I think, whoa! Okay, this SUV is much better for driving. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I didn't see that. The SUV, though, I did read up on it. It is a lot better on fuel which means we'll be able to go a lot more adventures as such. So, what we're going to do is we're going go to go to the factory today and we'll have a little look around there. So if we get to the end of this tree line, we should get into a nice big clearing and we shall see the factory way over there. Right, the way that, that I approach this is, see that building right in front of us? We got some airtime there, that was awesome. That little, uh, oh yeah! There we go. That red brick building right there. We're going there, right? And we're gonna be approaching from the left-hand side of it. I'll show you just in a second here. So you see that porter cabin? Right, oh, let all the zombies load in, let all the puppets load in. Now you think, right, how am I gonna get this? How am I gonna get to this? So this is how I do it. I don't know if all you other players, or all you other, other uh, scum veterans will know about this. But you don't necessarily have to go to the entrance way, which is round to the left there. There's a big gate, like in uh, the military base in B3 that we visited in episode 24. The way to do this is just approach the, the port cabin, right? Just approach it. It's perfectly fine. Watch this. Jump up here. See this uh, air conditioning unit? Stand here. And just... There you go, right... See, I say that he won't get spotted by the sentries, he didn't actually see me. He didn't get alerted to my presence. But if I had jumped up there and actually just went away with my plan, then I would have probably been spotted. Okay, this is where we drop down right here, onto the left. And... drop. No damage. We can open up this. And look! Military boxes! Let's have a little look through these, shall we? Before we do anything, let's just uh, clear this location out. Because I know fine well that the zombies can actually spawn up in these offices up here. And I have been, uh, I have been, I have been singled out or at least uh, caught unawares. There's also this big building right here. Which has got lots and lots of boxes in it. We might go in there as well. I don't know if those hangers over there have got any loot inside them, I'm not 100% sure, but we could visit them, we could go over and visit them. Bear in mind we have to go and visit an underground bunker in this episode as well, so let's get to looting, let's see what we can find in here. Right, there's already zombies in here. Oh, remember what I said? Let's just, uh, let's just take a step back here, make sure that if any zombies are in here they're going to come down that, that walkway. Doesn't look like there is any. I think we're all good. That sight's excellent, isn't it? Okay, so there's a... Okay, wait for it. Is he upstairs? In fact, let's go up and meet him. Let's go up and meet him. If he's upstairs, we'll meet him. 
come on then, big boys. I can hear you. Right, clear, clear, clear. Oh, oh. Don't walk. It's just the game. Don't. Oh. That was a few bullets, that, wasn't it? <laughs> well, at least we cleared the location out. As I said, there was three zombies in here, and we didn't even know they were here, they were asleep. This one didn't really react to us. I don't know how he didn't hear us. Uh, oh, he's got a he's got a sight. I'll take the sight. He's got an improvised back. I like that the puppets have now got improvised backpacks on the on their backs. Like that gives a chance of obviously having like an improvised courier bag. Look, straight away, you got a little bit of storage if you kill a zombie in multiplayer. That's pretty cool. Right, we're into the left. We're into the left again. Right, nothing here. Now this is where oil filter. I'm gonna take that. Now, I think they're outside there. You can open up this door. And there you go. A whole bunch of stuff to look. That's a really terrible angle that I'm at to look at that zombie right now. <laughs> it's the small things. It's the small things. Right. Let's get back to looting. Hopefully, hopefully that's this location cleared out. We can go back downstairs. If I don't get caught on the railing. Right, go through these boxes. These boxes will usually have a wee few somethings in them. I'm going to take the nails because they're going to be useful for building. I'm going to try and stockpile bolts and uh, and nails. Oh, work pants. Oh, there's bolts. Bolt. Bolts. There we go. See in Scotland. In Scotland, see if anybody says bolt, it means go away. It means... Usually, the phrase is bolt your rocket, which is essentially slang for go away, you absolute idiot. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. That's a good haul. There you go, you're learning a wee bit about Scotland today. Or at least what we say in Scotland, anyway. Right, go through these. These red boxes usually have tools and things in them. As I said, safety pin box and a screwdriver set, so that's an instant lock picking set right there. Right, go through these military boxes and bags. Red one. We're gonna try and make this speedy. We're gonna try and be quick through this location, and uh, we won't dilly dally. We'll get to it. We'll get to the point. We'll get to the loot. We'll get ooh, package. We'll get to all the loot because, as I said in the previous episode, we want a Barrett 50 caliber, an AK-15, or I've realised the SVD suppose is supposedly really good as well. So that's something else that I want to aim for. I want to try and aim for all these weapons, try and get them, try and have them ready made, all kitted out, all modified, all their ammunition ready to go. And then we'll use them throughout the episodes. Uh, 22 rifle ammo, nope, don't want that. Go through these boxes, just make sure we've got the rest of this loot. Some nice 12 gauge. Okay, it seems as though we've got everything here. Okay. Okay, this is where we time ourselves here. This is where we time ourselves. Because we have to keep track of the sentries. Specifically him. Now, is there any zombies out here that I can see? Nope. I can hear them. They're probably down to my left here. They're probably hugging the building. So what we'll do is we'll open and we'll back up. Right, there's something against my back. I don't like that. Right, he's dead. He's stunned. He got stunned there. Did you see that? I shot him in the chest and he kind of stunned. That's cool. I like that. Right, that's that clear. No more zombies, hopefully. If there is any more, they've definitely not heard me. Right, what we got? We've got nothing substantial here. It sounds like there's another one to my left. We'll deal with him in just a second. Gunpowder. Eh, don't want any of that. Right. Let's move a little bit quicker. Right, he's on alert state. So he's currently... Right, we can probably move.
Oh oh. <laughs> Do here as we'll go back to the like, right to the back to the right. There we go. We can hide right here. And he should not be able to see us. He will aggro. He'll probably come to the door. I don't think he'll come in though. There's too many boxes here for him to be, you know, stuck on. Right, he's on alert state. Right, so he can't come in now. And we've got all these boxes, all this loot right here to play with. So let's have a little look in here. Nothing. So long as we stay out of his line of sight, we should be absolutely peachy to get on with this. Military shirt. Don't want that. Come on, game. Give me what I want. Give me a Barrett. Give me something substantial. I thought I I thought the game just lagged me out to give me a Barrett there. Harmonica. I know, I know the harmonica is really fun and all, but I really want a gun. I really, really want that Barrett. Or an AK-15. I know a lot of folk have told me to go to the underground bunkers. Uh, I want to exhaust all possible... Hey, look at that! It's not what I wanted, but it's still a good drop. Look at that! AS foul! We've got a few of those now. We've got quite a few of those. I'd be an absolute monster if you would, uh, if, if they introduced like a, a selling system in this game. Like if really well kitted out players, oh can of tuna, really kitted out players, really, you know, decked out players could sell things for, the, you know, the money that the, the, the puppets drop. And that accumulating that money can obviously buy you like a, I don't know, a cargo drop or something like that. Or something a wee bit more substantial. Maybe a mod modification for your car. That'd be cool. Modifications for your car and scum. That would be crazy. Like a, a bulldozer scoop on the front of the, the pickup truck. Or spikes. Something to kill zombies really easily with. Is that a pot? No, it's metal scrap. I thought that was a pot. I thought I was in luck there. Right, I'm gonna have to do a wee bit of organising in my inventory here. Hold on a second. Right. Uh, I want to get the most amount of room. Can I get away with that? I can get away with that. I'm... Oh, so good at this game. Right, have a wee look in here. White shoes! White shoes! Why would you want white shoes? Oh! He spotted me. Pig. God damn it. Just, dude, stay there. You, you can't come in here. You're not allowed. It's illegal. It is illegal for you to come in here. Ha 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 ha. Suck it. Yep, go back to your alert state. And we can start moving now. Right here. I want to get the boxes at the front. Hopefully, hopefully this game says, if you get closer to the danger, I'll give you something better. I'm hoping... Oh, okay, never mind. Camouflage jacket, though. Camouflage jacket. I'll take the camo, camo jacket. Right, what's in here? Uh, camo stuff. Come on. Right, there's three, three, three things over there. There's a sentry over there. Hopefully he doesn't spot me. Right, ooh. I thought I saw something red highlight me there. That was quite... Ooh! Okay, this space is enough to hold, like, an M1 Grand. I don't know if it's enough space to hold a... You know, a Barrett. I don't know. Or an SVD. I know it'll hold an AK-15. I'm hoping we get one. Right, we have to wait for him to stop. So he needs to do a 180 and go back the other way, come up the left hand side of the current hangar that I'm in. There it goes. Excellent. But yeah, that's the way that I get into this factory. That's I don't go through the main entrance or through the holes in the wall. I literally abuse the the port cabin out there, jump up onto the AC which would realistically just break because I'm too heavy. But that's how I get in here without you know, a lot of hardship, a lot of, uh, you know, I need to time, like, my approach and stuff like that. I don't have to necessarily do that much. I just have to jump on two locations, jump into the, the, the big hangar there, big warehouse, 
and that's it. You're in. And the good thing is, you can come out here, and I think there is something up there. But before we do anything, let me just scout out the location here. Right, there is a sentry that patrols this route right here in front of me. There's a road. I think he's coming from my left. Let me just stick into the left a wee bit more so I'm not spotted. I like this location though. This location is really cool. There's a lot of places you can hide in here. There's a lot of places you can snipe folk from, which is probably why it's quite heavily used in multiplayer. Like people camp up the top of this big, uh, what do you call that? A chimney? A funnel? Right, where is he? Right, he's coming. There's his light. You can see it on the concrete to the right. There he is. Right, we'll follow him for a little bit. Didn't realise he was there. Did not realise he was there. What I can do is I can just sit here. Go on. Back to your patrol route. What did he say? <laughs> That's the one thing that I, I can't cr I can't catch. See when they talk like that, the really quick, small voice lines like that, I can't catch what they say. Right, I'm going to need to be really, really careful here. Oh! Oops. Right, I'm in a wee bit of a pickle. I really want to go up that chimney. I might not go up the chimney though. I might, uh Oh, ha! <laughs> okay. Alright. Did you hear it? Did you hear the gun loading? Oh, that was crazy. Right. Maybe, 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 maybe I'm really mocking these sentries if I try and go for the... I didn't realise there was ladders up there or stairs up there. We could go for that. I wonder if that connects to the chimney. Like, see that bit up there? Along there? I wonder if that connects to it. Maybe we could do it now. We could go now. Oh! You didn't... Oh, hey, that's not good. Up. One sprint, 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 sprint. We need to get up high here. There's a military box right there. There's one over there too. Oh! Right, he's dead. Oh, that I didn't even realise this was here. That was a lot of zombies that just spawned in though. God damn! Right, what we got? M16 magazine. I actually did an inventory check on how much I- Oh! 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 I've wanted one of these for a long time! Yes! We got an ACOG! <laughs> yes! Oh! Oh, don't let your dreams be dreams, I suppose. RIS adapter, some really good loot right here, some good uh, some good weapon attachments. That ACOG's an absolute killer of an attachment. I like where we are though. I like where like where I think we can go down here. Ooh, look at that. Scary. <laughs> okay, okay, alright. Sprint. Can I open up this door? Hey, we can go up. I'm going to shut that for just now. Because I want to search these little bits here before we do anything. As I said, we've still got the bunker to go to. So this is going to be a quite a lengthy episode. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, might be exceeding possibly 60 minutes worth of content here. Maybe. Is there a, there's an opening right here. Hey. There's the chimney. Look, I was right. If I open up that, yes, we can. Hey, that's pretty cool. 
I wonder what's up there. Can I get up there? I'm going to shut that. I'm just going to look at the outside right now. Just have a little scan. Right, we have to go this way. Shut that behind me. I think we need to go through this bit. No, fuck you. I know it's just a game. Don't you dare snipe me. Yes, we've got boxes. We've got weapon crates. Hopefully RNG is on my side today. It's definitely ki- Oh. 45 ACP. Don't want to take that. I don't want to take that ammo. I've got plenty of ACP ammo at home. Right. Ooh. Hey look, servers. Big silos too. We're on top of some silos. Hey, that's good. Oh. I wish you could. I, I know you can. I know you can. I think you can disable like world event. Whoa! Did he catch me? No, he didn't. He missed. We're, oh, oh, hello. He's down there. What a pig. Anyway, as I was saying, I wish you could build a base here, because look at that. That looks like a crazy looking base location. You could put Palisades right here, along here, along here. Utilise this little tower here on top of the, uh, what do you call it, on top of this building here, the roof of this building. Stop shooting at me. Stop shooting at me. You can't, you can't hit me. You're not a good shot. You need to get reprogrammed. What we got? Milton. Oh, yeah. See, when it lags like that, I know I've got something, but usually it's never always good. And it was tactical pants, a hunter, and some ACP ammo. 12 gauge. Glorious 12 gauge. Glorious 12 gauge. Oh, freed up some spots in our inventory as well. Some more boxes. Give me boxes. I like boxes. Hmm. Come on. Again, really good drops, really good things to have, really, really good attachments. Oh, <laughs> right, the game's in an attachment mood today. It's not in a weapon giving mood, it's more in an attachment mood. I like this though. Now, this, now, this, I would like to see added to a storyline in this game. Like, missing servers. You need to go and find the servers. When you get all the servers, uh, you initiate the power. You come back up here. And then you sit at these TV screens right here. And you watch how they formed the island. How they engineered the island. And a possible, like, I don't know, like a secret or something. Like when the whole, like when whole map opens in single, in single player, if it does have a storyline, I would like to see, like, you know, you find the missing servers, you put them in your backpack, you bring them up here, you slot them into the, the missing slots here, you complete the server racks in all four uh, racks, initiate the power, you turn on the TV screens, and you see the people responsible for designing this island, how they engineered the sentries, how they actually got all the prisoners to the island without them knowing. That would be really cool, and how they put the implant in the back of the head as well, without killing the patient. The, oh, oh, there's so many, there's so many things. Like, I like a good story, I love story driven games, and I would love a story in this, like, a story behind you, like, obviously they're gonna add more, like, reasons why you're a criminal, like, the base, the base one is just you're an arson, you set things on fire. No, arson? I've, I've totally blanked in my mind what arson actually is. Isn't it? Is he set things on fire? I'm getting too involved in it. Anyway, it would give you a backstory of like the type of criminals who would belong here. Like, maybe folk who were released back at... Now, I got a magnifying glass, but I've got something here that I can... Oh, I can't read that. 
That looks like a map location. Sorry, I'm probably delving too deep into this, but you can see where I'm going with it, right? Hey, take that. I'm going to take that. Anyone here? Right, we're back to where we started now. We're back to where we started. Right, now that we've searched all of this... Oh, God! I'm just stand back here. We've got an airdrop, and it's just to our north as well. And to our north as well is the, the underground bunker that I really want to go to. So we might go grab that. We might go grab that. Hopefully the game is going to be really, really polite to me. And stop being such... I mean, right now it's been really nice to me. We've got all sorts of attachments. We've got an XPS holographic site. We've got an OKP holographic. We've got a V3 holographic. We've got an RS, RIS adapter. We've got a car repair kit. We've got a spare magazine for the M16. And like I said before, I did an inventory check and we wasted four magazines of M16 ammunition in the previous episode and one magazine of Deagle, but I don't think we used the Deagle. I think that was just a, a magazine that I found in one of the loots or one of the boxes. So it should be up there. It should be to the northwest. We should... Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. We'll go get that. We'll go get it. Right, we'll go grab that loot drop. And because it's on the outside, we'll drive the car up to it. Um. And then we'll go to the, the underground bunker. But first I need to deal with Fido here. Where are you? Where are you? Are you coming back? I think we can go down now. We'll just sprint. Sprint for it. Oh, look! That was easy. That was really easy. Right, what we'll do... Is we'll go along this way, and you can see that the wall runs right around the, the complex, except for the north and the northeast. See the south, or the, the west and the south. Okay, 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 okay. Stop shooting at me, you can't see me. Right, he will be moving on. He, he will move on relatively soon. Are you going to move? There, he's still there. I can see him. You can just see it in my hop. Right, he's gone back to an alert state. Okay. Uh, F4. I mean, I could just sit here. Right, wait for it. I can see your exoskeleton. Someone in the previous episode, someone in the previous episode pointed to me, uh, pointed out to me that when he says, I can see your exoskeleton, means that he can see my car. Now, that worries me. That does worry me. Right, he's going away. That does concern me slightly. Right, we can go down now. Can we just hop this? That's a bit of a drop. There we go. Oh! He missed! Haha! <laughs> Loser! Right, we can't jump from here. That's... That's... That's a possible leg break right there. That is... That, that is a very possible leg break. But what we can do... Is we can jump on here. Run along... The, the roof. Jump up here. Oh, oh, come on. Keep running along, keep running along. Stop here for... Oh! Where? Oh, this is a hatch. I forgot about that. Right, luckily enough, zombies can... Oh, look at that. That's dirty. That's dirty. See if you've got people in the... on the walkway right there. Look how easy it would be just to catch them out. Oh! <laughs> that is dirty. That is dirty. But it's at head height as well, so you could probably get killed. Right, there's the car right there. Right, we can actually just, you know, do this. Watch this. 
Uh, just to the side. Side step. Right, we need to go. We need to go. Right, drop here. No damage taken. No dam- absolutely no damage taken and we're out! Look at that! How easy that was! Admittedly, I've been practicing this on my single player, uh, or my, my multiplayer server, but it works, it really does work. You go up there, you can go into that building, or you can go to the right, you can literally connect in and go in there, and you've got all that loot to play with. Right, let's get in the car, right, no, before we get in the car, before we get in the car, drop all this loot in there. Now that magazine's got 10 rounds left in it, so we're gonna, just going to keep that. Just for the sake of having ammunition. Drop all this in there. Uh, I'm going to keep that can on me because I know I'm going to get hungry at one point. There we go. There we are. King. X. Oh, forgot about you. Right, now we can go for it. There we go. Is that a horse? Is that a horse? Horsey! <laughs> right, let's stop right here. Right, this is where we go for the uh, the little location just to our north, beyond that little pond. That's where we're going next. Right. Is the gun loaded? In fact, you know what we'll do? We'll bring out the deagle. We've not actually seen the deagle being used yet. Okay, so there's no, there's no enemies in here. That's fine. I'm good with that. What have we got? We have got... I'll take that one and that one. I'm not taking these two. I've got plenty of those. See, I can pick and choose now what I want to take. Right, I'm going to take the small... That box right there. Electrical repair box. We'll take that. We'll take that. That fits excellent. Oh, yes. Genius. I'm a genius. Uh, that's... Now, the hose I've been told is not useful just yet. But, like I said, or how I replied to that person in my comments, I'm going to take it anyway. Because if the update, if an update comes in, and I've got that to hand, then at least I don't have to go away and search for another one. So it's better to just take something that's probably not useful right now, keep it stored up, keep it uh, available, like in an inventory or something like that, and then you don't have to worry about it. I'm also going to keep a chow mein on me. In fact, no I'm not. I've got an MRE right there. I don't have to break that open. And a water bottle. Our water bottle, our canteen, one of our canteens is actually empty. This one right here. Number zero, slot zero. It's empty. We're going to have to fill up our water again. Right. Change back to M16. Slot that back into there because it's nice and neat. And we'll start heading north, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you're probably wondering um, about the multiplayer server. It's still online, you can still come and play. It is whitelisted, it is PvP, there is uh, zones for you to fight and base capture and stuff like that. It's all there, it's all there. Uh, if, you want to if you want to join that, all you have to do is join the Discord. I'll put a link in the, the description. You can go away and join that. You can see read up on the rules, very lax rules. It's real. It's realistically to keep you guys entertained whilst you play it. Whoa! This Jeep is all over the place and I like it. But, in previous multiplayer servers, I've always built my base. Like, see where, where I'm going up this road going north? Do you see that little pond off to the, the northwest there? That's where I usually build my base. I usually build my base in that location, on the top of the hill up there. Because... As people travel and roam the world, they have to stop at locations to obviously drink water. If they've, if they've got water bottles, they'll drink the water, they'll need to refill it. Obviously, you can go to a village and just fill up from the uh, the wells and stuff like that. But if you're far away, you're going to go to a pond. And that pond, I've noticed, is quite frequently visited. And a lot of people do die there. Mainly because I shoot them with, like... A 22 in the leg, watch them limp, they bandage, I shoot them again in the leg, and then they're stuck. They're completely stuck. And I feel, as horrible as that sounds, as horrible as that sounds, 
I do feel bad for them because they're like, they're getting shot by a 22 silenced from a location they can't see and all they know is, you know, they're getting shot in the legs and they're getting wounded quite rapidly. Right, we should turn right here. There should be a turn here. There we go, there's a turn right there. Should be a fence up here somewhere. Should see the fence quite soon now. Right, we're now in the snow. Excellent. I love the snow biome. That's sarcasm, by the way. There's the fence! Hmm. Right, let me just... Let me just go up here. There's the audience coming to check on if I'm actually still alive. Yes, I'm still alive, audience. I am still alive. I am driving an excellent SUV that's struggling to get up this hill. Come on! First gear. Realistically, you shouldn't be in first gear. You should be in second gear climbing a hill like this. If you're in first gear, you're just going to wheel spin and you're not going to get anywhere. Right, now that we've got a better... Oh. If I could stop hammering the... Wait, where is it? Where is it? There should be a bunker here. There's a lot of zombies in there. Where is the bunker itself, though? I'll go up here. See if I can see... Whoa, stop! A wee bit of sliding helped me there. Oh, turn, 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 turn. I think that's it there. Where he's standing in front of. I think that might be it. Oops. Is that it? Oh, he's really close. <gasps> Stop. Turn to your right. Don't turn to... Ooh. <laughs> See, I'm too busy looking at the sentry. I'm too focused on the sentry right now. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the car right here. leave it here. And we're going to get out. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to eliminate the zombie threats. So let's find an area where we can see them clearly. There's one right there. Is there two? There is two. There's two sentries here. I don't think this is a bunker. Maybe the bu- Oh! Oh! No, wait. Wait. That's a hatch. That is a hatch right there. Do you see that? Hmm. Let me just test something here. Let me just test something. Right. Three... So, we'll just do it to there. Right, we'll load the flare again. Get a wee bit of height. Right, there's one zombie. Car 98k. Dead. Hmm. Maybe I need to throw out another flare, maybe. Oh, that was a guess. That was a guess. That was an excellent shot. It's fired from the hip. That was brilliant. Right, anybody gonna go to it? I don't think so. I think we've done it. I think we've uh, eliminated most of the threat here. I know there's a zombie in there. There's a zombie in that building right there. Right. Load. It's loaded. <sighs> right, I need to think about how I'm going to approach this. I don't know if the, the tunnel is right in front of me. I know there's a hatch. Yep. 
You don't see me. Damn it. Okay, I left. You don't have to shoot me. Is he still red? I left the area. Come on now. Come on. I left the area. What a pig. Right, tell you what, let's go down low. Right, we just have to remember that the car is in the north. I'm going to stay out of his line of sight. As I say that, I'm running right into his line of sight right now. First, let's get a gauge of where the... Right, let's let's push now, push now. Right, where is it? Let's go down here a wee bit. Where the hell is it? Where's this entrance? Wait, there it's there. No, it's not. It's not there. In fact, that doesn't even... Oh, wait, no. That might be it. Hmm. I need to get a better look at that. There's a zombie right there. Now we've done this before, ladies and gents. We've done this before. We've been to a bunker, unsuccessfully attacked it, and, uh, you know, almost died. We've already done that. So I really want to be successful in this, you know, attack on a bunker or raid. Where is this? Where is it? Don't attack me. You can't see me. I need to get a break in the in the, the fence because I can't tell if that's a bunker or not. I don't think it is. I don't think that is a bunker. Let me just open that door. Wait, no, it is. It is a bunker. Go, 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 go. Get in. Oh, right. Don't. Yes, we did it. 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 Oh, right, we're in. We are in. Let's just make sure all our weapons are ready to rock and roll. Right, open door. See if I shoot a flare right there. Back to M16. Right, I don't think there's any zombies in this corridor. They would have ran straight for that. Okay. Lots of loot here, lads. Lots of loot. Okay, spare ammunition for the, the Deagle. Heavy ballistic armor. Hard. What's the difference? Latest high-end armor type. Ooh. I might wear that. I might actually wear that. It's tan. Now, I could keep this, but it does mean that it's going to fill out a lot of slots on my uh, in my inventory right here. So I'm going to leave it. 
right here at the entrance. I'm gonna leave it right here. This is this is apparently the better of the two. So I'm gonna take the best I can get. Anything in there? Hunter. Right. This this is where this is where things go bad. Right. That went okay. We only used about seven bullets. Before we do anything, let's just double check things. Anybody want to come out of hiding? No? Okay, good. Got that door. Lots of loot here, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of loot. Lots of boxes. The possibility of getting a barret is getting a little bit higher. 9mm, I've got plenty of 9mm at home. It's in fact, I'm, I'm kind of... Right, we'll take that. We'll t I ri right, tell you what, we'll take that off and we'll put that on. There we go, that's a lot better. That's a lot easier for me to see things. We'll check that. You locked in there? What's that? Anybody? No? Just a normal shirt? Okay. I'm not gonna bother searching what kind of civvy looking boxes. I want all the camo boxes. I want all of the ammunition. I want all the good stuff right now. Because this is the first successful bunker raid we've actually, you know, done. Anybody in here? There's an apple right there. I'll take that apple. Anybody in there? Breach, breach, breach. Oh, it's a bad apple. It's a bad, bad, bad apple. It's an oscilloscope. Hmm. These bunkers could add to a storyline. They could find, like, maybe, I don't know, papers about who you actually are, who you were in the real world, what you did. Maybe, they, maybe instead of, like, when you start the game, see when you give yourself a name. Other people don't see that name, but they see like a, a prisoner ID. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> pretty cool. And you have to find papers to find out at who you actually are. Right, go through all these. Lots of box, lots and lots of boxes. Right. Possibility of badness behind this door. That's a lot of zombies talking. Shut that door. Go through these. Ooh! 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 I'm all about that camouflage. But I'm also about that tactical. Flare. Not much. Through these. Right, badness on the other side of this door. Badness on the other side of this door. Right. Always worth double checking. Oh, load. Always worth double checking. It's always worth. Right. Let's search him. He's got a nice little helmet on. And he had a crowbar. <laughs> Alright. Nope. Nobody here. Excellent. We're eliminating the zombie threat one at a time, and it's so far proving quite, quite useful. I'm really enjoying this M16, I'm glad I got this. Basic compass, we'll leave that there. This box right here, this box right here maybe? Oh, okay, I'll take that. It's always worth t taking the sights, we'll take that, that's useful. Any of my guns badly damaged, that's at 1%. Uh, let's check the pistol. It's at 76%. We could actually repair that a wee bit. Let's repair that. Back to 100%. Right, bring it out. There we go. I don't like... See in the recent patch, can you see like a blur effect on the site? Look at the site very carefully. I'll turn this way. 
right? Watch the site as I make tiny little circles. Can you see a blur effect on that? Because I can certainly see it. And it's quite, it's quite heavy on the eyes to see that. Oh, I wonder where that leads to, ladies and gents. I wonder where that leads to. I'm not dumb, game. I'm not dumb. I'm going to go out the front entrance. Right, I think that's all we got from this location. Unless I'm missing something. Check that. Bayonet. Check these. Ah, uh, we'll take we'll, we'll take it because we got nothing. Of the oh, yep, yep, that'll do. That'll do. That will do. A fresh canteen and an RIS adapter. Yes, I will take that. Excellent. Right. I don't know if there's any other locations that I could go to right now inside this bunker. We've removed the zombie threat. I think. No, we haven't. It doesn't sound like we've removed it. Maybe I'm... Hmm. Doorways. I've not checked the doors. Hello. Office. Office. Hello. Maybe these doors. Level zero one. Hey. Right, clear. Oh. What we got? Rap. <laughs> oh, that was good. I stepped back out to see what the noise was, and it's him. He's just ah, raging at me. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was funny. I liked that. Thank you, zombie. I needed that. Right, let me just search you. Let's just go through your purse right now. Let's see what you got. That's a Barrett 50 caliber magazine. That's a Barrett 50 caliber magazine. I'm going to repair that. That is the magazine that I have been looking for. I need four more of these and the ammunition to fit them. And we can kill a sentry. Which is what I really want to do. See even, the see, even the zombies agree with me. <sighs> right. Weapon crates, weapon chests. 12 gauge, good. I'm not going to take it. I've got plenty of them. I'm going to take that because I need more ammunition for a shotgun. Hunter, right. Badness behind the door number one. He's stuck. Oh, it's a big boy. Right, wait. Cool. Load the weapon. 30 rounds to run with. Right, we'll search this. Search this big chap right first. Whew! Right, what we got? We've got an M1 clip. We're not going to take it. We've got plenty of clips back at home. We're gonna open up this door and we're gonna search this big chap right here. What have you got? Give me another Barrett 50 caliber ma magazine right now. Nope, he's not gonna give me it. Hey, dentist? Hospital pants. Maybe some medical supplies in here. Painkillers. Yahoo. Popping pills. Anything in here? Scissors. Don't want the scissors. Rag, that's a good that's a good one. I'm gonna put that there. In fact, what I'm gonna do is that's at 77%. I'm gonna drop that right there. We've got some painkillers on the desk again. Vitamins. Vitamin box. That's a good haul. But I'm gonna try and put that there. There we go. And that there. There we go. Shut the door behind us. 
Open this door again. I can hear a lot of them. I can hear a lot of zombies stoting about right now. Ding! Ding, 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 ding! Armory time, boys. Armory. What have we got? Good ammunition. Military helmets. Deagle ammo. Do we have the ammo for it? We don't. What's in here? 50 AE. Nothing found. Oh, yes, that's good. There's some spare ammunition for the guns. Drop that in there so we've got a partially loaded gun. NVGs, we've got plenty of those at home. I know a lot of people are going to be like, Oh, why are you not taking those? Why are you not taking those? Because I don't want to take them right now. I can't, I can't afford to, to waste space in my inventory. I'm here for one thing and one thing only. And it's a Barrett 50 caliber. Second armory. Oh, respirator. Deagle. Spare M16 magazine. And a respirator. Can I wear that? I can. Oh, yes. Excellent. Deagle, tactical vest, tactical jacket. 9x39 nine nine bullets. That's for the S valve. Hmm. I mean, this, this, this is a small armory for something, for a, for a base this size. There's got to be something additional. There's got to be something additional. Because the, the two rooms, two rooms to fill out an entire base like this doesn't seem, doesn't seem likely what we got. Brrrr. Go through these. I need to remember my direct my sense of direction here because uh, if I can't remember my way back, then things are gonna be a wee bit hectic. We might end up end up getting stuck in here. Right? Anybody behind the door? Nope. Examination room. So this must be where they put the implants in, for sure. Whoa! I had a mini heart attack. Just a, just, just a small one, just a small one. Right, hold on. I'm gonna do some Tarkov stuff right here. Nope. I want you up here. Unload ammo. Drop spare magazine back in there. Take that ammunition and throw it back into a gun. Load. 30 rounds. Oh, that, that, whew, that gave me a fright. That was certainly a fright and he instantly charged me as well. Right, we've already been that way. We're going to go this way. Right, go through here. What we got? Depository. Anything in here? Oh, we've already been here. I think we've already been here. Level B01. I can hear zombies. I can hear them. I don't know where they are though. Sound like they're below me. They might be above me. Not too sure. Not too sure, ladies and gents. Not too sure. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go this way again. I'm gonna go back the way I came. Open up this. Check left, check right, clear. Office. Okay, so there's, n there's nothing in the offices because we've already been in those. And we've been through there as well. Dead zombie, we've been this way. That's fine. That's fine. So long as we know where we are. So long as we know where we are, I'll be I'll be happy with that. Depositories, we've been through these. That's an open door that I forgot to close. Sorry. Sorry. 
Sorry. What if I go this way? I've not been this way. Depositories. Does this lead me to... Oh, it just... It, it, it circles back and leads me to the same location. Okay. Okay. I think we've cleared... I think we've cleared all this location out. Like, that is just an office, right? Oh, I got stuck in the door. There we go. Oh, right. I think we can get out of here. Yeah, I think we can get out of here now. Because I think... We've been through all of the levels here. I, I'm not sure if I've missed a door or if I've missed some turn. I don't know. But all I know is we're coming out with some uh, half decent loot. We've got a load of kills. Which way is out? Which way is out? Is this the way out? Zombie on the other side of this door. Maybe not. Oh no, it's this way. It's this way. It's definitely this way, because that... I'm sure we've already seen that. Yeah, this is the way out. This is the way out. Yep. There's the way out right there. Wait a minute. High pressure. Yeah, for me... Pressure on me is unreal right now. Right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up that door. We're gonna back up. Ooh! I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Don't shoot me. Do not shoot me. Shut that door. I'm away. I'm out. I'm out. You can't you can't be angry at me anymore. Yeah, I know you can see my exoskeleton. Alright, ladies and gents, I think we've done it. I think we've actually managed to pull it off. Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Come on. Just just, just, just don't. Right. Ladies and gents, we came out of this episode with something quite high value. Quite value, especially to me, at least. And it is the, the 50 caliber, the M82A1 magazine, which can hold 10 rounds of 50 caliber BMG bullets. Now, we are one of five magazines away. No ammunition, no Barrett, but we've got a magazine. And what I'm going to do is when I get back to the house, off camera, I'm going to build a crate dedicated to getting an M8 2A1 Barrett 50 calibre beast. <laughs> and what we're going to do is each and every episode that we find something that can help us you know a magazine the barret itself an attachment for the barrel the scope the silencer the bullets is instantly going straight into that box and we're going to use it as a gold chest there's the car over there right there all right folks what an episode today's was what an episode, what a brilliant episode, this was loaded with fun, I got to show you guys a way to get into the factory that maybe you already know but for new guys who watch, you know, my videos and maybe learn a few things from the videos, there's a really good way to get into the factory without being seen as easily by the sentries. We also went up north, up to the north of C1, we got into the bunker, we managed to do it, took out a few zombies, a few jump scares here and there. A Mr. X jump scare with that zombie just at the end there as well. <laughs> that was, honestly, see when I saw the zombie I was like, full auto, full auto, and I forgot it was on semi-automatic so I just rattled my mouse 
like bang dead <laughs> and I couldn't shoot his head because I was tracking back so as I was tracking back the gun dipped it kept dipping when I was shooting as well so it didn't help but anyway Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is the first hour length episode that I've actually done on Scum. I thought I'd visit two locations and maybe show a wee bit more content to the game. Anyway, if you've enjoyed today's episode, leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below, tell me what you think. Did you enjoy the hour long video? Was it a lot better? I'll maybe try and do like maybe hour long episodes every now and again. It won't be like every single episode. I want to keep them between you know, 30 minutes to an hour, roughly. But anyway, folks, if you've watched all of my episodes on Scum and Green Hell as well, and you've still not subscribed, consider subscribing, and you'll stay up to date with this series. Maybe you'll learn a few things about Scum, maybe the recent updates as well. I've still got to show the recent update as well, how the sentries can actually step on puppets and kill them. That's so cool. That makes them a threat to both zombies and you. Which is really cool. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. From me and my excellent loot and my starting goal of grabbing an M82A1 magazine for the Barrett 50 caliber. I've been Mr. Feudal. I'll see you all another time. <laughs>